fun, happy? Well, I think there was a lot. Um, we were uh, kids that, uh, well, I'm the oldest. Mm -hmm. So my mother was like 16 when she had four kids by the time she was like 20. Mm -hmm. uh, she tried her best, you know. Uh, and like, I mean, she had spirit, okay? She would take us into stores and put coats on us, uh, you know, to mm -hmm. keep us warm. And then we met my stepfather. And, uh, you know, he was pretty violent. Mm -hmm. He was pretty, he had, a, a, my mother was an alcoholic. He was a rageaholic. Mm -hmm. So as a child, I got me and my brother, we both ended up with post-traumatic stress from beatings. Mm. You know, like real beatings, like beatings, like, you know, beatings. Well, so like in the 70s, mm -hmm. they said it was okay that people got hit. But some of us really got it, and I mean, it wasn't normal. And I actually sued my parents and the mm -hmm. Board of Education and the Children's Aid and three idiots in Oshawa or mm -hmm. Mississauga um, because they, they, all my life, I just, I'm one of those people that uh, has to have a, a resolve. And, mm -hmm. you know, the thing is, is that. In my life, I have to say, is to, you know, I've been through hell, like pure hell. I mean, we all have the story. A story of mine involves yeah, sexual abuse, mm -hmm. child pornography, mm -hmm. physical, like, excruciating pain. Mm -hmm. I mean, my brother and I would laugh because, you know, some kids would say, you know, verbal, verbal abuse hurts more. <laughs> well, you know, uh, that's nuts, okay? That really is sometimes. But as you get older, it's the truth. It's true because verbal means that you carry it with you. You mm -hmm. carry it in your mind with you every day. It's something that we, we as human beings should understand that sometimes what we say really has an impact on people's lives throughout their lives. Because mm -hmm. long as you, as long as you can have a memory, you can always remember when somebody abused you or hurt you, or just upset you and did bad things to you. You can always remember these things. So that's why this is. It's it's, it's strange that we carry this with us for life, and it, it can be very damaging with us just carrying that with us. But it's very hard to forget when people have done you wrong or or, or hurt you, and you really thought that you were a good person or you came from a good background or you try to be a good or person. Or you loved them anyways. Yeah, there you go. Um, now, when did you know you, what was the first, what was the first thing that triggered any issues that you had? What was the first thing, whether it was the mental, the sexual, the, the family, what was it, when did you know that you had a problem? Uh, when my stepfather came into my life and the physical beatings, like it was pretty carefree before that. Mm -hmm. Poor, okay, dirt poor, but my mother sort of made it a game and made it fun somehow. Like we mm -hmm. would literally go out and play Peter Pan and get sheets and, you know, food. But as I got older, I want to say with this time we have, you know, I had success in my life after all of this. Mm -hmm. um, I felt, uh, I, I went to a therapist. I spent a lot of money, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and unfortunately that was then. I could do it this now for free. There's mm -hmm. so much out there, but you know I did, and I faced all that. Did it I have help to you? say, yes, it did. When I have an intrusive memory or a flashback, and it, uh, you know you just go back there. I try to have the memory, but then I I find a good memory as mm -hmm. well. Okay, to sort of make it even. You know, mm -hmm. um, the thing is, I don't want to be a survivor, Larry. Mm -hmm. I want to be a thriver. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I want I want joy and happiness, and I really fight for it. But through drug addiction, through loss, through mm -hmm. 
beatings, through mental stuff, through sexual abuse, through rape, through mental illness, through being institutionalized, to being trapped inside, rape inside in the violence, um, and having to turn, you know, to survive. Mm -hmm. um, and then get out and find your soft self again, your, mm -hmm. your, your, uh, you know, the self that can be, be soft and, and also um, have strength. Okay. You know, so, and it's a, it's a, it's not, well, I have to say honestly, I'm not a religious person, but you know, I do pray. Mm -hmm. I ask for the willingness to be willing, sometimes mm -hmm. to even be willing. Okay. And I quit smoking, I got off drugs, I got off methadone, um, I, I don't, I'm not bitter and I'm not angry. To me, that's success. When that the memories success. come up, that though, I success. let them out, and that part of me will, mm -hmm. but then it's out. You know, Sherry, it's, it's, it's funny. I like what you just said, because you know what that, to be honest, what that just told me is that you took control of your life. You took control of your destiny and the issues. You just took control of those things, and that is something a lot of people don't do. But you know what? Looking at you, I can see that it's real. That that you that you 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 overcome a lot of the hurdles because I can see it in your face, and I know sometimes we can hide things, but you can never hide things when they really hurt you. Right. No matter how much of a mask you put on, and trust me, I've been through a lot. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. But this is your story. Uh, I'll tell mine sometimes for you guys. Okay. But. Uh, I am glad to see that you are strong, you're healthy, and you got a new addition to the family, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> yes, I did. She got a new addition to the family. I've been trying to be subtle. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and she told me, like in the summertime, she was going to take care of something that she was insecure about <laughs> and, and something that I deal with all the time. And y'all know what I'm talking about, these two things. And she just had a little bit of a, a boost. <laughs> yeah, <too>. see? <laughs> she, the girls are up. Yes. So I'm glad to see, I mean, you know, sometimes we talk about making things, doing things in our life that makes us feel better and, 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 and look better. Mm -hmm. And you actually did it. Now that is, that's amazing. And you, and I saw it when we first were doing the first um, talking about um, how the show was going to go. And I saw them, I didn't want to say anything. Then you brought it, you said, <laughs> you, know, you, don't, you don't see anything. And it was like, I saw them, I just... You know, I didn't want to be uh, yeah. intrusive. Yes. But I'm glad to see. Are you, so, are you happy? Are you happy now, Sherry? No, let me ask this question first. Were you ever in a relationship? Were you ever married? Oh, yes, I've been married twice. I'm still married. I've oh, okay. been separated for 15 years. I've been married since I was 19. Mm -hmm. Libra, sign is we are marriage. Okay. So what, what, kind of, what, kind of men, what kind of men are you attracted to? Uh, kind, easier uh, going, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but strong, mm -hmm. you know, but, and, and also on the ball, okay. you know, like he has to have sort of his lights on. I don't mm -hmm. expect them to Lights be. on, men, lights on. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> looking at your pages, you seem like you like guys that are rock and roll looking, or more of a country and western Kind of well, <laughs> that, <laughs> maybe a little mm -hmm. in between. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm I've been sort of with somebody, um, but in the last couple of years, we've just, you know, worked out a really great friendship. Mm -hmm. And that man, you know, I mean, his face, people can judge, but to me. I've seen pretty boys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen rock and roll. Mm -hmm. I, of course, there's views, you know, really handsome out there, you know, mm -hmm. and you just like. So but you're... this man, his face through my eyes mm -hmm. is perfect beauty. You know? So do you like you? So you you like musicians? Yes. Well, yes, because I need them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a musician. Okay, wonderful. Now, what is, being a musician, let's say. 
can you do a little song or a little something for us to show us what you went through? Just give us a little taste. Okay. Uh, I guess the best song that I can use to represent, I'll just sing. Then there's God shall give, then there's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child that got his own. The strong gets more where the weak ones fade. Empty pockets don't ever make a grave. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless the child that got his own money. You got. Lots of friends hanging round your door, but when it's counting, spinning hills, they don't come no more. Rich relations give crust of bread and size. You can't help yourself, my don't. Mama me. <laughs> Wonderful. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh my God. That's a Billy Holiday I song. Mean, that's <laughs> great though. I love it. Oh my God, you're so good. And I could feel that you were feeling you felt the song. You felt it. Yeah. So it, it, yes. the way you the way you sang it, it was strong, powerful. You you know, you took control of it. So I think that explained to everybody how she's feeling these days. Things are in a positive direction and going well for Miss Sherry Page. Now, um, I just want to say that for um, people out there dealing with mental illness, yes, where would right. you where would you where would you suggest they go? What would you what would be the first thing mm. you think they should do once they recognize they have a problem? They've got to first get an opinion, and then they can do get proactive for mm -hmm. themselves and do research. I've been through since my 30th birthday. It's been about five years, but I'm telling you there, <laughs> Stephanie, I have been through years in hospitals because I never wanted to take the one, some of their medications, their antipsychotics, because mm -hmm. in truth, for mental illness people, it's like a lobotomy and a, a lobotomy and a pill. Like you know, you know, I didn't want to play guitar, sing, draw, write, nothing, except watch TV, and I didn't even feel too bad about it. <laughs> so you know, but something was missing. Yeah. So I took control. I read. I found out what what I needed, and through all these years, I've learned my medications. I'm bipolar, schizoffective. But I have, I found out through CAMH, mm -hmm. okay, a great that place. they did a, uh, finally, I, I, you know, I had seizures every time I, I lost it. And, you know, I'd say for 20 years, I think they're like connected. But nobody would do anything until CAMH. And then I found out that I had temporal lobe epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And then I did research on it. And then I thought, oh, geez. And then I thought, <laughs> ignore it, just be, just be, take the medication for it and be. And that's what I do. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my medications, um, they don't, I can't, I don't even notice I'm on them. I don't have the lag and the side effects. But I do have to say that I have lost more friends to suicide and violent death through mental illness than through drug addiction or anything else. And it is a sad thing because we go into the hospitals, we make friends, when we get out, we separate. Okay, uh, it's a, to me it was a part two in my life. Firstly though, when they told me I was manic depressed, I thought, nah, it's too good to be true that I have a 